back. But every tongue is going to confess, man. You know? Every tongue. This is Philippians 2 and 10. That at the name of Yahweh Shai, every knee shall bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. That's right, man. So every every everything on the planet Earth is gonna bow to who the world really calls Jesus Christ, man. Alright? Which his name is Yahweh Shai. Every tongue is gonna confess that name, alright? Whether you whether you believe it or not, man. Okay? You're gonna respect it. When he makes his second coming, all nations on the earth are gonna respect it, man. The manner that he's coming, you're gonna have no choice but to respect it. Okay? And don't expect don't expect him to come back as this man right here. Because you've been lied to all your life. Okay? <laughs> You was lied to all your life that this is the man that walked 2,000 years ago around Jerusalem healing people. No, that didn't happen, man. Okay, that, that, that was the white man's story. That's his story, okay? That's not the truth, all right? You gonna, you gonna, you gonna confess that a black man by the name of Yahweh Shai is Lord, man, okay? And that's, and that's what it is, that's what it's gonna be. And you will worship before him. That's right. He did. You gonna worship the Israelites too. That's right. You so called white people, you East Indians. All right. You gonna worship the the Negro, Latino, and Native American. Man. That's right. You gonna bow before us, man, because we going the Lord gonna also return us to being his uh, his sons, man. Are right, we gonna be lesser gods on the earth? And you gonna bow before us too? That's right. Okay. You gonna bow before Yahweh Shai, and you gonna bow before us. Okay. All right. That's it on that in the Philippians. Get Romans 14 and start at uh, the 10th verse. All right. Well, somebody also get uh, Romans 14 get, and 10. Matthew, the second chapter. Romans 14 and 10. But why dost thou judge thy brother? Oh, uh, why does that? Uh, 14 and 10. Yeah, yeah. But why dost thou judge thy brother? Or why dost thou set, all, set at not thy brother? But we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai. So we shall all, it's going to be a point in time where we all must face the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai. The Most High gave his judgment unto his son. Everybody always say, only God can judge me. And they don't realize the Most High just gave judgment down to his son. His son is going to bring judgment on the earth, okay? Which is ultimately the judgment of the Most High. He's going to do the bidding of the Most High, okay? But you going off when you say only God can judge me because he ain't the one, he ain't the only one that's judging me, okay? As long as we're in, uh, 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 in the spirit and we're judging according to his word, his spirit, you can judge, okay? Yahweh Shai is a he's 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 a he's a judge, man. Alright, go ahead, huh? This is Romans 14 and 10. But why dost thou judge thy brother? Uh-huh. Or why dost thou set at not thy brother? Uh-huh. For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai. Yep. For it is written, as I live, saith the Lord, every knee shall bow to me. Hey, and who is this speaking? <laughs> That's your Howard Shai, man. Matter of fact, yours is uh, yours, man. Uh, okay. Yeah, right. uh, no, don't, don't worry about it, bro. Read, read that again. For it is written, as I live, saith the Lord, every knee shall bow to me. Every knee shall bow to me. And every tongue shall confess to your Yep. So then every one of us shall give account of himself to Yahweh. That's right, man. You know? But you but Yahweh Shai is gonna be the one in that seat. Okay? 
Now, we ain't saying this to imply that Yahweh Shah is the most high. That's not what we're saying, man. That's wicked. That's off. But what we're saying is the most high is, is dealing with order, man. So if he wants, if he wants to give that glory to his son, for him to be the judge, the one to be the ruler, for us to, 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 to worship, then that's what it's gonna be. Right. That's what the Lord set in the earth, man. That's the order. Basically saying, son, don't bring nobody up here you don't approve of. That's right. That's right, man. Read, read, read that again, bro. Right. This is Romans 14 and 10. But why dost thou judge thy brother? Or why dost thou set at not thy brother? But we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shah. For it is written, As I live, saith the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall confess to Yahweh. So then, every one of us shall give account of himself to Yahweh. Yep. Yep. Everybody's going to give an account, man, and they're going to confess. Okay? And who and who and what prophet was he quoting? Because he says, as it is written. It's, he's talking about Prophet Isaiah, man. So it was prophesied back in the time of old that we were gonna um, uh, bow before Yahweh Shai, man. That's in Isaiah what 45 and uh, Isaiah the 45th chapter. If I'm not mistaken. 45 and like around 23rd, 25th verse. Isaiah 45. Isaiah 45. 20, 23, okay. I swore by myself, the word is not under the word. Yeah. Uh, I am sworn by myself, the word is not under the word. Isaiah 45 and 23. I have sworn by myself, the word is going out of my mouth in righteousness uh -huh. and shall not return. Uh -huh. That unto every. Suck it. That unto me every knee shall bow. Yep, and this is Yahweh, this is talking about Yahweh Shai. Okay? Every tongue shall swear. That's why when you go back to that in Romans, it said every every uh everybody must appear before this uh, the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai, man. And then it went on to say right after, as it is written, what the brothers uh reading. Okay. Every every knee shall bow, man. Bow before who? Yahweh Shai. You're gonna confess. You're gonna confess to the Most High that Yahweh Shai is, is your is your Savior, man. Your Lord and Savior. All right, but you're gonna believe that the Most High is. He's the he's the he's the highest. Okay. You're gonna believe that the Most High is is, is exists. You know, he's the higher power. And then you're gonna also confess that Yahweh Shai is. is The Most High is Yahweh Shai's Lord. Yahweh Shai is our Lord, man. But the Most High is our ultimate power, man. It has nothing to do with idolatry. We are not worshiping any other God before Yahweh, man. Don't get that misconstrued, man. The reason why that's, that's your understanding is because the Lord is not dealing with you. That's right. Okay? Go ahead. That unto me every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall swear. Yep. Surely shall one say in the Lord, Have I righteousness and strength? Yep. Even to him shall men come, and all that are incensed against him shall be ashamed. Yep. In the Lord shall all the seed of Israel be justified and shall glory. And how are they going to be justified? They're going to be justified through Yahweh Shai, man. They're going to be made righteous again through Yahweh Shai. They're going to be purified, man. They're going to be washed of their iniquity and their sins. Through who? Through Yahweh Shah. That's the reason why we're supposed to praise and worship Yahweh Shah, man. Okay? That's why it says in uh, Romans 11, was it the 25th verse? Get yeah, Romans 11 and 25. Romans 11 and 25. For I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery. Uh huh. Lest ye should be wise in your own conceits. Uh -huh. That blindness is part 
like the blindness in part is happened to Israel uh -huh. until the fullness of the gentle of the Gentiles be come in. Go ahead. And so all Israel shall be saved as it is written. And shall all Israel, meaning all the seed of Israel, shall be justified, just like it said back in uh, Isaiah, right? Isaiah uh, 45, right? Go ahead. Go back to that. Uh, Isaiah, 45. Isaiah yeah. 25. Isaiah 45 and 25. Oh. Isaiah 45 and 25 and the Lord shall all the seed of Israel be justified and shall be and shall glory that's it I go back to Romans 11 Romans Romans 11 and 25 for I would not brethren that ye should be ignorant of this mystery this you be this you should be wise in your own conceits that blindness in part it's happened to Israel uh -huh. until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. Yeah, meaning all the house, man. And you so, had the you had the ones, you know, that were broken off from the branch that were grafted back in, or bumped into the Israelite foreigner thing, the Gentiles. The Israelite foreigners, they had to come in to fill the Lord's house, man. And the Lord bonded the rest of of, 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 of Judah and, and Israel. Okay? Ultimately, he had to blind out two thirds of our nation, but bring in the elect. Go ahead. And so all Israel shall be saved as it is written. So all Israel shall be saved, ultimately. Not, and I'm not saying they're going to be saved as far as the destruction when he comes back and delivers Israel out of Babylon. But I was talking about in the kingdom when all Israel come back and they all are restored as the sons of the Most High, okay? From the least to the greatest, okay? It's all through Yahweh Shai that that's even gonna happen, okay? That mercy and grace is to the elect when it's gonna trickle down to the rest of the nation in the kingdom. All right, go ahead. There shall come out of Zion the Deliverer. Who is the Deliverer? Yahweh Shai. So he's the one that's gonna uh, be the one to justify all the seed of, of, of Jacob, Israel. Okay. Go ahead. And shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. So he's going to be the one to take away the iniquity from Israel. He's going to turn away the wickedness, all right, the sins of, of, of Israel. Okay. So this is why we ought to, uh, to, to uh, bow before him, all right? The fact that we, the Most High left us out because we went astray and he was, the Lord considered basically a, a getting rid of us, but he said, you know what? I'm gonna make a, a, a exception. I'm gonna make a new covenant and I'm gonna use my son to be the, the mediator of that covenant. Without him, we wouldn't have been able to come back to the Father, man. For that alone, man, we, he's worthy of us bowing down to him, man. Kind. You know? We worthy, he, we, man, he's worthy of being bowed down to him. He didn't have to go through that pain and suffering that he did when he walked the scene. Yeah, that was it. That was it. Go to that in Matthew. We start at the top. Matthew, right the second chapter. Matthew, Matthew chapter two, starting at one. Now, when Yahweh was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, uh -huh. saying, "Where is he that is born the king of the Jews?" For we have not, for we have seen his star in the east, and have and are come to worship him. Yep, because King Herod he knew that the Messiah was going to come on the earth. All right, he knew about our Lord, and that's the reason why he sent out the order to have all male child two years and under to be put to death all throughout uh, Jerusalem. Okay, because he was afraid. Man. All right, he wanted all the glory and the dominion. All right, 
That's the one, and that's why the Lord ended up sending Mary when she got pregnant with the Lord. He, he uh, sent them out of the way. He sent her and Joseph down to Egypt so that uh, Herod wouldn't be able to find her. Okay. First thing. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, yep. and all Jerusalem with him. Uh -huh. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and the scribes of the people together, he demanded of them, where is Jehoshaphat, the where Jehoshaphat the should be born? Uh -huh. And they said unto him, in Bethlehem of Judea. Yep. But thus it is written by the prophet. Yep. And though Bethlehem and the land of Judea are not but the least among the princes of Judea, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. And that's talking about Yahweh Shai, man. Or right, he's going to be a ruler. That's, that's implying that he's going to be our ruler, man. Okay? So if you have a ruler, what does that mean? That means you're a subject. Anybody that have a ruler over them, they're subject to their rulers. So when you're subject, when you're subjugated to something, that means you're 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 uh, you're you're, you're um, the word sub means uh, to be under. Okay, submarine, like a submarine. So you're under. We're going to be under him. Okay. So we're gonna we're we're gonna bow before him. Go ahead. Verse seven. Then Herod, then Herod, when he had privately called the wise men, inquired of them diligently uh -huh. what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. Yep. And when, he, when ye have found him, bring me word again, that I might come and worship him also. So even he was, <laughs> he was like, hey, bring him so I can uh, worship him. You know? What? Come on, man. This is this is in the scriptures, man. The scriptures is telling you this. Verse 9. When they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. Uh -huh. When they saw the star, they rejoiced and exceedingly great joy. Uh -huh. And when they were come unto the house, they saw the young child was married his mother and fell down and worshipped him. Whoa. They fell down and worshipped him. God. <laughs> These were the, the wise men. They fell to, to Yahweh when he was a baby, man, a child. And they fell down and worshipped him. All right. So when those men committed idolatry, when they did that, when they bowed before the Yahweh Shai as a baby in, in reverence, all right, as a as a, 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 a veneration. Were they going off, Alize? Why did the Lord strike them down for that, man? Go ahead, now. And when they had opened their opened their treasures, they presented unto them gifts of gold. Frankincense and mirth, and being warned of Yahweh in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own countries another way. That's it. That's the point. That's that's the point, man. So the three wise men they worship Yahweh Shai, man. As a baby, when he was a baby. Okay. That's it on that. Um, somebody get uh. Matthew 9 and 18. For he spake these things unto them. Behold, there came a certain ruler and worshipped him, uh -huh. saying, My daughter is even now dead. Man, he came to do what? What did he do? Worshipped him. What did he do? Read it again. For he spake these things unto them. Behold, there came a certain ruler uh -huh. and worshipped him. And worshipped him. That's what happened. He worshipped him. Why did in that in that in that moment? Why didn't Yahweh shall rebuke him and say no? Worship the Father. 
in heaven. Why didn't he say that? Why he didn't uh, check him and tell him, no, don't, don't worship me. Don't bow before me. I'm, I'm, I'm your fellow brethren, like the angels would do. Why didn't Yahweh Shai do that? <laughs> Go ahead, huh? Say, my daughter is even now dead, but come and lay thy hand upon her, and she shall live. And Yahweh Shai arose and followed him, and so did his disciples. And they followed him. All right. He fell and worshiped before him. He bowed down to him in reverence. And then, you know, he, he, he healed the daughter, man. Okay. And, and, and he constantly, man. And, and it's, I mean, there's so many more scriptures we can go into. But I know, I, I'm doing this for edification's sake. Let all things be done unto edifying. All right, for brothers that might get tripped up by niggas like uh, Sakari, hey man, just listen to the, what the scriptures say, man. Okay? When he pulled out uh, 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 Exodus 34 and 14, where it says, uh, uh, worship, uh, thou shalt have no other God, you know, there's no other, there is no other power or whatever. Hey man, he, 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 that dude has no understanding, man. Okay. Exodus 34 and 14. Yeah. But thou shalt worship no other God. Yeah. For the Lord whose name is Jealous is a jealous God. That's right, man. And that's true. Alright? We don't we don't worship idols. Okay? And Yahweh Shah is not an idol, man. That's that's blasphemy in itself to even call him an idol. Huh. You know? Don't wear them around your neck. Jesus speaks. Oh, man. When he was saying, have no other. Read, read it again, bro. Exodus 34 and 14. But thou shalt worship no other God. For the Lord 